Hello friends, welcome into a special breaking news edition of the Cowboys Report. I am your host Tom Downey. Offensive line coach Paul Alexander has been fired today. The Cowboys just announced the move. And this was actually, if you remember my changes the Cowboys should make in the bye week, this was one of them. Fire Paul Alexander. Now, I am on board with the move because it didn't work out. Alex Jenner came over this offseason from the Cincinnati Bengals, and I think the offensive line got worse. I don't think the offensive line improved at all. I think they were way worse than what they were last year. Tyron Smith has not, 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 not looked like the same guy. Lael Collins has not looked very good this year. Connor Williams has been inconsistent. Of course, he missed Travis Frederick. But Alexander has not been the guy. He has not done a good job for the Bengals. Now he's out, I think rightfully so. And now, what surprised me, I think, the most about this decision, it is Monday. Why didn't you do this last Monday? I know you were very focused on firing or, or making a trade for Amari Cooper. Why wouldn't you fire Alexander during the bye week? Why kind of more or less cost yourself that extra week of prep time? That's confusing to me, but I guess in the end, let's give the Cowboys some credit here for recognizing that they made a bad hire in Paul Alexander and they fired him before the season totally got out of hands. Now, as for his replacement, it's going to be Mark Colombo, a name I think many of you are familiar with from his time with the Dallas Cowboys as an actual player. He's been the assistant offensive line coach since 2015. That was kind of more of a part-time role. In 2016, he was the full-time assistant offensive line coach. In addition to that, Hudson Hook is going to come back in and serve in an advisory role. And if you remember Hudson go way, way back to around the Bill Parcells era, he was an offensive line coach before Bill Callahan came in and before they continue to make changes in recent years. So Colombo is your new offensive line coach. Exactly what I said the Cowboys should do during the bye week. Oh, we'll call it five or so days ago. So I want to know from you guys, are you glad the Cowboys fired Paul Alexander? Type Y for yes, type N for no. I don't want to really gloat about a man you know, getting fired, but it's the right decision. So I'm typing in Y for yes, I am. Alexander was not doing a good job for the Cowboys. The offensive line was playing well below expectations, well below their talent level. And at a certain point, the buck does stop with the coaching staff. So Alexander, he is out. Mark Colombo is in. And the offensive line is supposed to be the focal point of this entire Cowboys team. It's not just supposed to be a good unit or an above average unit or a solid unit. It is supposed to be one of, if not the best offensive lines in the NFL. It's supposed to be, at minimum, a top five squad. That has been the case here. Zeke Elliott has not had room to run. Now, he's done the best he could, but how many times each game have we seen Zeke have to make a guy miss in the backfield or just have no room to run? Alexander kind of tweaked some, some techniques with the offensive linemen. I think it's hurt them. In particular, Lael Collins. Now, Tyron does not look right. Hopefully, this gets him back on track. Connor Williams has been inconsistent, but again, he's a second-round pick. I just like the upside there. I'm not panicking about Sewell. Joe Looney has exceeded my own expectations, but he's not Travis Frederick. Zach Martin's been good, but even Zach Martin has gotten beat a few times this year. That's not really what you want for the Cowboys. So we'll come back to some more offensive line talk as it relates to the players, but Collins is the big, big red flag for me. Meanwhile, Dak Prescott, and again, I'll mention this right now, it's not just one thing with the offensive line, or, or the offense. Just bringing in Amari Cooper, just firing Alexander isn't going to fix everything. Everything else has to start to start get going as well. But Dak, I think, has at times been negatively impacted by an offensive line that hasn't been as good as he's used to being. And I'll continue to bring this up as my greatest fear is that the Falcons game didn't just break Chaz Green. It also may have broken the entire Cowboys up, which is a big red flag for me. But in the end, I am glad the Cowboys have fired Paul Alexander. I think it is the right decision. You have to get something else in their offensive line. Hopefully, Mark Colombo ends up being the guy there for the Cowboys. I don't think he's there quite yet, but if he can just provide some more stability and even get this offensive line playing back to just their talent level, they don't have to over exceed their talent level like other offensive lines do. If the Cowboys play as well as we know that they can up front, let's say the Jaguars game, for example, that's going to be a big boost for them, for them because they're good enough to, I think, pull that off. So Alexander, again, if you're just now joining us here on Facebook Live, he has been fired by the Dallas Cowboys. That move came down just minutes ago. He is out after coming over from the Bengals this offseason. And now Mark Colombo is the new offensive line coach. Of course, 
I know many of you want more changes up front on the offense and you want other coaches fired, so do you want Scott fired too? Type K for, or KS for keep Scott, type FS for fire Scott. I already saw one Aikman Romo comment because of course we did here on Facebook Live, but I had put file in hand as my number one goal. Now, you can still do it, but at this point, I think it's a little bit too late given the bye week timing. I am all for firing Linehan. I don't think he's getting the job done. I just don't know if the Cowboys are all that likely as we sit right now. But then again, they did manage to fire Alexander, although again, I'm confused by the timing of it. I thought this would have happened later on, or happened earlier in the bye week, not you know in the midst of game prep. Just a little bit confusing to me, at least for the Cowboys. Of course, this is their second major change they've made during this bye week time frame. They also traded for Amari Cooper. And the hope here for the Cowboys is that by trading for Amari Cooper, by firing Paul Alexander, that the offensive line and the offense in general can get back to being what the team thinks it can be. They hope that with Cooper in, with Alexander gone, that the offensive line will go from, frankly, being average at best to being back to that elite stature, and you pair that with the Amari Cooper edition, now all of a sudden, you're sitting there in great shape with a very talented offensive line and receiving core that is much better, and the offense gets back to maybe a little bit more like 2016 offense. Now, as for Alexander, I know many of you were kind of perplexed by the hiring at the time because he came over from the Bengals where things had not gone well in his last couple years. In reality, the Bengals and Cowboys more or less traded offensive line coaches the Bengals clearly got the better of that trade. Alexander, of course, is now out. And these are all moves, I think, to say, hey, Jason, you better win this year, because if you don't win and you don't make the playoffs, we're probably gonna fire you. If that does happen, well, our friends over at BetDSI do have some betting odds on who will be the Cowboys head coach in 2019. The field leads the way at plus 200, which, of course, that always makes sense. I will pass on Josh McDaniels, the stunt he pulled in, in Indianapolis. I am not interested. Of course, you still have Garrett keeping his John job. John D. Filippo is a guy that I like a lot. I think he's a good coordinator in what, frankly, is a less than stellar coaching class for head coaches. D. Filippo is the top, in my mind, assistant coach. Sean Payton, I know you guys all want him, of course. Maybe if the Saints in the Super Bowl and Breeze retires, maybe Payton comes back over to the Cowboys. It has to be a trade, though he is under contract for the next couple of years. George Edwards is a promising young defensive mind in Minnesota. Dave Taub has been interviewed multiple times. There's Chris Broussard. Everyone seems to like him. Jim Harbaugh, if he leaves, sure, don't think he's going to. Ken Norton Jr., that is actually a hard pass for me. Why hire the lesser defensive coordinator in Seattle when you can just have Chris Broussard, right? I'd much rather have Richard than Ken Norton. Now you can go bet on these odds at chatsports.com slash bet. Use promo code COWBOYS120 for a 120% deposit bonus. Put that 100 bucks, they'll give you 120 for free for a grand total of 220 to bet with on BetDSI. That's chatsports.com slash bet. And we'll see you guys later on in the week for the next Cowboys Report.